It's a very difficult situation when you've been told you have prostate cancer because you've been told you have cancer but you've been told potentially that it grows slowly and you have time to look around and make choices. They can choose a procedure, they can choose radiation, there's a bevy of things they can choose. Generally no matter what they choose the idea is the same. They're going to have something they hope cures them and try to minimize side effects. Robotic surgery is very much the next advancement on top of laparoscopic surgery. It gets over the hindrances of standard laparoscopy which would be 2D vision and instruments that move just like chopsticks. Here at GW Hospital they were the first to have two robots um, and certainly I believe the first to have multiple specialties of many different areas working under the same hospital. We've done over a thousand cases of very differing cases, uh, mostly prostatectomies. And that's really allowed us not only to be the leader clinically, but also the leader in many ways from a research standpoint. One of the ways GW has been very responsible in developing robotic surgery is to have this be a team approach. It really makes a difference. And just the level of familiarity that the team approach that's done at GW uh, that exists uh, really does make a difference for the experience of the patient.